Well, the tropics were quiet for a while, but is that going to continue going into the peak hurricane season? Fox 10 News meteorologist Matt Barentine now joining us here in studio. Matt, we're already seeing some changes, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about them and move to another screen because we had some issues with the other one. But we're looking at two systems that have a real chance of developing here. And that is a change that we haven't seen in quite a while. And what we're looking at here is the ingredients for a tropical system. You need water above 80 degrees. You need good, strong updrafts going up that will bring moisture up into the atmosphere. That's what creates the uh, the storms and then you got to have light winds in the upper levels to help to create some circulation there. Now, the reason why we haven't had many storms lately because we've had a lot of dust coming off the Saharan Desert moving across the Atlantic and what that does is it short circuits the whole setup here where you have a uh, you know, you get less sunlight down to the water that cools off the ocean water and that creates uh, less showers and storms and it creates less tropical systems. But that is now changing because we have far less dust across what we call the main development region here of the South Atlantic, not seeing nearly as much of that dust. And that's unfortunately just in time for the peak of hurricane season, which comes in the month of September. Right around September 10th is the very height of hurricane season. And right now we're seeing conditions change for better conditions for tropical development right as we're moving in to the heightened part of the season. So it's definitely something we're going to be keeping track of here as we continue to see more storms, especially out there in what we call the main development region, guys.